Good evening, good evening, everyone. How are you? We are going to give it just a few more minutes to let everyone uh, who would like to join in to join in. Okay, and let's see here. Okay. Alrighty, and we are on day two of our devotional, Being Better Husbands and Fathers Daily. I welcome you to the Absolute Word Ministries YB Daily Devotional. Uh, all devotionals come from the YouVersion Bible app. I just want to make sure that you know that all the devotionals come from the YouVersion Bible app, unless uh, it is otherwise noted. I will let you know if who they're written by, if, if I wrote it or, but for now, understand that they're all coming from the uh, Uversion Bible app. Um, before we get started, I'd like to invite you to join us in the group, in our Facebook group at bit.ly forward slash, uh, forward slash A W M. Y V D D G. Amen. Uh, let's see here. That is our Facebook group, bit.ly A W M Y V G. I'm sorry, Y V D D G. So that is Absolute Word Ministries Y V Daily Devotional Group. Okay. And then uh, we ask that you join um, to like our page on Facebook. Um, it's actually the Absolute Word Ministries page on Facebook. And that is at, here we go, at facebook.com forward slash Absolute Word Ministries. See, I try to keep it simple. I try to keep everything nice and simple. Um, so that way you can't forget the name of it and it's easy to get to. That's our Facebook page. And then uh, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is at bit.ly forward slash A-W-M-Y-T as in Tom, C as in Charlie. And when you subscribe, shoot us an email it, whenever you subscribe or uh, if you sow a seed to the ministry, um, send us an email at absolutewordministries at gmail.com and you will receive a free download of either I Am Who God Says I Am ebook, and that is for subscribing, or for once you sow a seed, you will get a free ebook of I Am Who God Says I Am, Living My Life on Purpose. And you can sow a seed to the ministry at paypal.me forward slash AW Ministries and the number one, or uh, via our cash app, which is the dollar signed. AW Ministries and the number one. See, I try to keep everything nice and simple. Amen. Amen. So, all right. And we're going to hide that. Okay. So, we're going to go ahead and get started with tonight's devotional. And that is. Mornings with your children. And actually, it did say mornings with the kids, or uh, I think it said breakfast with the kids. Okay. Um, so today, our scriptures we will be reading from Job 38 and verse 12, and Psalms 30 and verse 5. The devotional itself reads as 
follows, and then we'll read the scripture. Okay. All right. Why do mornings seem so difficult? For parents, especially working parents, there is typically so much to do in a short period of time. Dads, if you don't already, it's time to help your wife out with morning root with the morning routine. Morning is the time in which temperamental differences may be most evident. The child who is slow to get going clashes with the mother or father who is fast paced. Or the child who is crabby clashes with the parent who is also crabby, which says, which is written by one of the authors, Ellen Galinsky and Judy David in their book, The Preschool Years. I am so glad those days are over. <laughs> I can only imagine. Um, so whether your children are going back to school or struggling with a new morning routine, getting ready for school or daycare doesn't have to be a struggle. Tips for a smooth morning routine for school or daycare are as follows. Leave room from unhurried moments. Make sure everybody has enough sleep the night before and rises early enough to avoid rushing. Give yourself time for some unhurried moments together before you have to leave the house. Um, dads, this is a great time to remind your children about what you expect of them and maybe even share an encouraging Bible scripture with them. Complete chores the night before to make the morning routine less stressful. Do things the night before and make the lunches, prepare lunches for everyone if you're going to make the lunch for uh, school or even to take with you to work or for your husband to take to work, make those the night before and put those in the fridge. Okay. I know growing up, you know, children used to have lunch boxes. I'm not sure if they still have those today. I used to love going shopping for lunch boxes. They were so cute. So, you know, husbands try to make the school lunches for the children at least once a week to help alleviate a little bit of stress off of your wife, okay? Give yourself more time. Add 20 to 30 minutes extra to your usual schedule. If the children are ready on time, spend it reading and talking or doing some other activity together to make sure you give, your, give them your undivided attention during this period. And this shows them that you are interested in what they're doing and that you are an active part of their lives. Set reasonable expectations. Expect your children to do what they are capable of. For example, this may be an unreasonable, I'm sorry, washing and dressing themselves if they are old enough. But something like this may be unreasonable for a younger child. OK, so set one task at a time to make expectations seem more attainable. Setting expectations is key. All right. Morning. I'm sorry. Get out the door. If a child has not been cooperative, use that extra 20 or 30 minutes to get your children ready with a little fuss, as little fuss as possible. Do not scold them. Do not yell because this, it, it messes up their flow in school, okay? Just do what is necessary to leave the house on time. This is a great way to team up with your wife to help get everyone out the door. A morning challenge you might want to try. How can you as a husband be more helpful in the mornings with your children? Pick a few things that you know your wife would value your help with and then do them each day. 
talk about what's working and what's not working with the morning routine. Men, I encourage you to step up to help alleviate some stress off of your wives, okay? As I mentioned yesterday, if you were on yesterday, I mentioned yesterday uh, that my husband used to do a lot in the mornings. But what I forgot to mention was that he did work part time at night. So that really, you know, it helped out a lot. He was still able to get home after work and rest up and, you know, get ready for the next day. I helped with the schoolwork because and the paperwork from school because he did a lot of the cooking and uh, helping out with picking my son up from daycare and stuff like that while I was at work and taking him to school as well so that I can leave out early enough one time for work. So remember, you know, sometimes we did things together and sometimes we didn't, but you must remember that you must find a routine that works for you and your family. So what I want you to do, because I love for this to be a, uh, not just me constantly talking to you guys, you know, just, um, just, I would like to receive your feedback. You know, I would like to know if you're getting anything out of the devotionals. So uh, share with us what your morning routine consists of. Maybe your routine can help someone else out. You know, do you need to adjust your wake up time or your bedtime? Do you need to adjust the children's wake up time or bedtime? Sometimes we find it hard to make changes to something that we have been doing for years. But once you make the change and stick with it for 30 days, it will become second nature. OK, so based on today's devotional, what is God saying to you now? You don't have to answer that right now. OK, you don't have to answer that right now. You can come back later under this broadcast and, and you know, include your comments right under here. So feel free to share your comments below this broadcast. OK, I thank you guys for joining us tonight. I want God bless to each and every one of you that is either on the live or that will watch the replay. And we look forward to seeing you tomorrow night as we continue on with Uncommon, Being Better Husbands and Fathers Daily. God bless you and have a wonderful evening.